In this video, we will look at netlist comparison using the Streams RC option in CAM350. We want to compare a netlist extracted from the Gerber files to the netlist from the CAD system. To do this, we export IPC D356 netlist from the CAD system, bring that into CAM350, extract a netlist from the Gerbers in CAM350, and compare the two. To do that, all we have to do is import our Gerber files, and you'll notice our IPC netlist is in here as well. Once everything's identified here, we hit Finish, and it will load our Gerber files and our IPC 356 netlist, which, uh, as you can see, we can even show the net points on that netlist. We'll open up Streams now and simply load a netlist comparison that we previously created. It has the parameters that we like to use in netlist comparison. And really, all we have to do is hit Run. It will extract a netlist from the Gerbers, compare it to that IPC356 netlist, and show us if we have any differences. Obviously, this is what you hope to see each time. Let's take a look at uh, what happens when there is a problem. So we'll zoom out a little bit here. We'll find, uh, find something to delete. Okay, so we'll edit, uh, delete. We'll delete this trace, and we'll just simply run it again. So again, it's extracting a netlist from the Gerbers and comparing it to that IPC356 netlist. Now it's telling us that this external net or IPC net W underscore R is now two nets, 45 and 46 in CAM350. And if we highlight it, what it does, it actually takes those two nets and puts them in contrasting colors, white and gray here, to help us find the location of the open. So that's how netlist comparison works in Streams RC and CAM350.